Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. I'm actually recording this on a Thursday night and normally I wouldn't have to record anything anymore this week because I've got, I've got all my videos done for this week. But however, last time we got all of these awesome things and I, I, I just can't wait to make them. Um, so yeah. Quite literally, couldn't wait, so we're playing it again, recording it again, because that's what I do when I play it. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna make some awesome shit today. Now, first and foremost, of course, we have to find locations for all the things that we want to place, because, well, quite frankly, uh, our, our locations here aren't exactly the very, very best, so we're gonna have to check on how exactly we can do it best. Uh, that's like, for example, if we want to base a moon pool, actually, this is a pretty nice location over here. I just wanna, there you go. If only we could, if we can attach that to like that thing right there, then we should be in for a treat. So what happens if we place, can we place a glass compartment against this? And does that even, does it work as well? I don't have glass, do I? No, that doesn't work. I don't think that connects. So that's, that's a slight issue. Like we want to make sure that it connects up. So maybe get rid of this observatory. I'm sorry, but I think that's the thing that we're going to have to do here. Get rid of the observatory and then I can't place it yet, but then place the moon pool attached to that, or at least place it right here and make sure that we can, we can attach it to that. But that's a nice place for the moon pool, I suppose. A nice launching point. Oh, no, actually, uh, actually, let's take this copper as well, because I'm pretty sure we need an advanced wiring kit. Not exactly sure what we need to make with that again, uh, but we do. Look, there's all sorts of new stuff we can make. Reinforced diving suit. Uh, we've got cook new cooked foods because we found those things. And we've got advanced materials. We've got aerogel. Light poison dry gel, high heat insulation. No idea what that would do, but then again, who am I to judge? No, I think we're out of luck there. I think we're out of luck. We're gonna have to find ourselves some some new stuff. So, uh, we want to find some quartz and some coral, and we want to get all of them. How full? How much? I don't have a lot of space in my inventory as it is actually. So I might just want to put everything I need in one of the lockers that hasn't been used yet. Do I have a locker that hasn't been used yet? You have been used. Uh, you have been used. Uh, have all of you been used already? Like to the f fuck. Come on, any MC? No, I mean, that's a good thing, but I also don't quite like it. Any any quartz in the area over here, lads? Anything at all? I could really do with a bit of quartz. Really appreciate it. No, not you. I don't like you. There's some quartz right there. It's only one, but it might just help me. Okay, okay. I don't want to get killed by them. That will be sad. It's awfully quiet up in here. Can't say that I'm a big fan. Any more quartz? Anywhere? Why are... Okay, why is it when I don't need this shit, and this happens with basically everything, I find it all over the place. And then the one time, the one time I'm actually properly in need of it, nowhere to be seen. What is this? Oh, it's just limestone outcrops in here for some bizarre reason. Okay, well, fine. See, more, there you go. Um, yeah, that wasn't, wasn't very lucky. Hey, look, there's more quartz right there. All of a sudden... Little bit, little tiny BB, BB bits of luck are starting to come my way. Ah, there we go. Now we're starting to get settled. There you go. Got a nice big amount of quartz. We could do it a bit more, like because we're probably needed in other occasions as well. Uh, I can just basically get a lot of everything. There's some more right there. Don't mind if I diddly diddly do do. Don't know what I'm doing. Don't know what I'm saying. Don't know what ev what's going on whatsoever. Oh hi. Where's this? What is that? I don't know. It's the first time in like ages I haven't checked the actual map of where I am. Just salt. Yeah, I saw it, but I really don't need salt, and I also really don't care. Fantastic! Now, uh, there you go. Now, bloomp, uh, I need titanium ingots. Not things, I need ingots. So I'm gonna get all the titanium I have, and I'm gonna turn them into ingots, which is a damn shame, because I, I work very hard for, for these ingots. Uh, things, okay? I, I've worked very hard to attain them, and now you want me to turn them into ingots. Not a fan. Right, um, so, there you go. How much titanium for an ingot? How much was that? Ten titanium for one ingot? Fucking hell! Great. Did that. More titanium. Uh, was it this one? No, it was this one. No, it wasn't that one either. Was it this one? It was this one. There you go. And we'll get more titanium. Okay, uh, we got one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're, we're very, very close to be able to making this moon pool. And we're going to get the, uh, hopefully the vehicle modification station thing in the moon pool as well. Because I found that one down there too. Um, to be fair, I think it's, uh, 
it's a bit of a glitch that I found that many things down there. Uh, I don't think that's supposed to happen, and if it is, then that's that's fairly weird for, well, such a relatively easy to find uh, wreckage, because I found um, Cyclops engine parts, I found um, moon pool, I found uh, the both, uh, uh, like, two different sort of arms for the prawn suit, I found the modification station for vehicles, and there were prints for a uh, thermal plant as well, so it's ridiculous. I don't think that's what's supposed to happen, but it did, and I mean, seeing as I don't cheat it, <laughs> I ain't complaining. We'll get a moon pool. My only moon pool. What will be the entrance to the moon pool? Like, what will be the best way? I think this? Is this okay? No, this is placed fairly- Oh, no, 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 this is placed fairly far fucking wrong. Let's not do that again. Okay. Uh, redo that, but do it properly this time, please. Come on, and then there, and then here, slightly up a bit, I think. This okay? What height is the- is this the good height? This should be the good height, this is the good height. There you go, this should be the spot. This should be the spot for me moon pool. Monan! Da 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 da! And it's connected as well. Yes! Okay! Now let's bring the Seamoth in there, see how it works. I'm fucking stoked about this moon pool. And no- Hey, there you are! I think I'm gonna call you Gladys. I think Gladys is a good name. I haven't named you yet, and you're you're my partner in crime, basically, now. I was scared of you at first, and I thought you were weird for, well, humping my penis tower. I also brought this, these guys back, because they were, like, all the way over there. Gladys took them for a little ride. She's my babysitter, too. I like how, these thi how this thing is actually standing on the ground. So, but can I go in already? Does it work? Ooh. Yes, I can dock! This is fantastic! Oh, that's not good. Why, why, why does that, why exactly does this happen? Repair. What the hell? Does it take so much power? Uh, I think my bioreactor just stopped, didn't it? Yeah, this thing is offline. Yeah, that's, that, 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 that's, oh. Uh, get the fucking coral in there, I don't care. Get something in there that may, to make it work. I need to make more power. I need to make more power. I need to make more power. Power, power, power. I'm so, I, I need to find, okay. I need to find a shitload of things to put in that thing. Actually, I'm gonna just grab what I have. Hopefully, it will work. So, is my moon pool okay again? Yeah, everything looks to be okay. Which is fantastic! Look at this thing! It's so good! I can't place gl oh, windows in here, can I? Oh! Oh, never mind, I can't! Oh! That- I did not mean for that to happen. I just wanted to place a window. That's all I've ever wanted. I wanna see- Okay, where- where exactly can I do that? What are all the spots I can do that at? Like over here? Doesn't work over here. It does work over there. Okay. Somehow this works. I'll take it. I want to see it. Oh, it's up there. Oh, that's neat. Could I... Just in the middle? I think it's just in the middle up here. I think it doesn't work like on the sides, just in the middle. But that, that'll do to me. Uh, this one. We want to fill up this one as well. There you go. Oh! Oof. I saw something move. And I instantly got scared of it. Fucking hell, why did you do that? Why did it move out of itself? I didn't ask you to. I mean, can I place reinforcement? No, that doesn't work either. Fuck! I mean, I've got reinforcements all over, but I don't really need- I don't know if I need more. Ah, we'll see. For now, the moon pool is working, and it makes me very, very happy. Look at that. It's great! The Seamoth is docking now, and it should also be charging. Yeah, it's full energy now. Look! I just go instantly, I can dive to the death. Or if I fucking want to go. Now, what we want for this, of course, uh, now is the vehicle. I need, to, I need two computer chips to make a vehicle modification station. So, uh, computer chips, again, we need um, table coral and silvers. Okay, I should have everything I need. I need water, table coral. I don't know why this became so, like, grey all of a sudden. That's quite weird. Not sure if I like it, but then again, oh, look at the amount of shit I just got. Holy fuck. Right, and then, what else? That's it. That's it. Vehicle modification station. There you have it. Build this in the moon pool, it says. Okay, that's that's great. Maybe if I... Do I destroy the window? Does that matter? Does it now work? Oh. Okay, yeah, apparently that does work. I don't know why it's so weird. Like, why is it facing... Oh! Oh, that's cool! I can name my Seamoth and I can give it colors and everything. <gasps> I, okay. This is the best day I've ever had in my entire life. There you go. We can get white like this. Uh, done. 
How's Old Betsy look? Old Betsy looks kind of cool to me, if you ask me. I quite like it this way. Old Betsy. Oh, look, it even says Old Betsy right there. Oh, my God. That's amazing. The vehicle modification station. Oh, my God. There's all sorts of things. Prawn suit torpedoes. Holy fuck. Uh, Seamoth modules. So, how do I make this go... Uh, recharge the seam of power cell while sunlight. Oh, that's amazing. Common modules. Pressure compensator. Oh, we need plaster ring as a computer chip. That will make it go deeper, I think. Uh, nope, a little bit. Uh, computer chip. There you go. Now we should be able to make the seam of go deeper, which is exactly what I want. And uh, there you go. Pressure compensator. It's amazing. I can do it. We can go deeper. How much deeper is the question. We also got hull reinforcement, uh, which hardens the uh, things before collision, eliminating damage from the normal condition. Yep, I want that too, because I am a very clumsy driver, steerer. How do you call that? Also, what? Oh my god, we computer chip with CMOD solar charger, recharge the CMOD power cell while in sunlight. I definitely think I want that too. Sonar. I mean, I need pollen and manila, which I don't have. Uh, torpedo system. Preload delivery system adapt to fire torpedoes. There's all sorts of cool stuff that I could want. Vortex torpedo. I could, I mean, I, I would love that. For now, though, I think these upgrades are fine. Uh, we've got ourselves the pressure compensator and the hull reinforcement thingy. And I want to check out how deep we can go now with the Seamoth. How much did that help? I can go to 300 meters now. Now, the question, of course, that I am asking myself, if I place another one in here, will I be able to go to 400 meters? Okay, okay, okay. I think we're good to go. Fucking hell, that took me ages. But I think we are good to go. I think we can make these now. The question is, how do I make them exactly? Um, how do I do that? Like, I know I can I can make these. Uh, oh, no, I need a pressure compensator and the computer chip. Okay, so okay, I, need, I still need the computer chip and the pressure compensator I already have. And then I should be able to make this one. The question is, how? Oh, uh, where did I keep you? Where did I keep you? Where did I keep you again? Uh, fuck. I made a separate one and put it in here, didn't I? Yeah, there you go. So now, how do I make this? Because I know it's in my fucking... In it is I know it's in the thing. Uh, the, the the blueprint thingy. I don't know how to make it. It doesn't say that it's there. So how, do I, how exactly do I do this? Like, if I go in here, right? Power efficiency, how about the pressure compensator? Um, how do I go a step further? How do I do that? I, I don't know how this works. I, think I can make this. I have the blueprints for it. Yet how do I how do I how do I make this? So from what I gathered, I need to make the modification station in order to do that, which I also found in that record ticket. I think that's a glitch. I, I think I wasn't supposed to get it. But it did say on the Ricky though, because I searched up how to do it, that it's found in the Grand Reef. So it's 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 not a coincidence that I found it there. It's just that I found all of these things in one big wreckage and possibly the easiest one to find in there as well, from my position at least. Uh, so all we need now, I mean, all we need is a wiring kit, which is made out of some silver ore. And after that, we should be able to make the modification station. And then we should be able to, oh, there's so many, it's so much work. I'm sorry to have bothered you with all of this. I think we have enough, there we go, we have enough silver. I'm sorry to have bothered you with all of this crafting, but this will really help our game in the long run. Okay, so we get a wiring kit, we get a modification station. Uh, in the meantime, we could possibly also get some food because my guy is starving. Uh, now we can make ourselves the modification station, which I think I'm in the moon pool as well. I think that's a, a nice spot for it. Just like somewhere in here, like next to this. That, that, that somehow works like in the corner right there. Uh, yeah, I think that's nice in the corner. We'll take that. So I need the pressure compensator MK2. Ooh, there you go. We've made that. And for this now, I need uh, one more plasto ingot and a computer chip. And then I should be able to make this one as well. Okay. Know what to do? Right, now we should be able to make that third one as well, I think. Uh, yes, there you go. So now we can actually fully upgrade this to go as very, very deep, I think, at the very least. So we can take uh, this one out now. Uh, I made two, I'm sorry. And now we can put this one in. Wait, it's still 300 meters. Oh no, wait, this is the normal one. I want to make... Wait. Wait, what? Pressure compensator. MK3, this is the one. 
Ah, oh, there you go, 900 meters. I can go 900 meters with the Seamoth now. That is amazing. Pam, pam, pam. Ultra Glide Fins. I want those too. We're doing great today. You know, I, this might not be the most interesting thing to look at, but holy fuck, dude. The Ultra Glide Fins. I'm gonna test them out. Okay, how fast do I go? Oh, that's amazing. Look how fast I can swim now. I mean, I'm not gonna outswim fucking predators still, but this is a lot better. We have this alien containment room, which I want to get. So I want to find some titanium, and I want to see what it is because it looks interesting. It sounds interesting, of all things. So we just need to find some titanium. Well, <laughs> what's new? That's literally the only thing we've been fucking doing this entire episode. So where could we place? Maybe right in the middle. We could just maybe just place right in the middle the alien containment room. Or like, how does it work? Do we place it on top of something? Or what do I do with this? Like how? Do I place this properly? Like, where do I place it? It's maybe the big question. Do I place it inside one of these, maybe? What do I do? What do I do with them? I am not sure. Oh, I placed them inside one of these. So what is it? Is it like an aquarium of some sort? Never heard of it. Oh, God, it's very big. Can I still walk in here? I, can, I probably can. Is it like a giant tank of some sort? It is! Aquariums provide an ideal opportunity to study alien fauna up close. Okay, but how do I how do I use it? Oh, it does need a hatch. Oh, there you go. So we want to make a hatch. And we want to Oh god. We want the hatch like right here. Okay, we'll do that. Fantastic. So that's how it works. Okay. Oh, now I'm in here. Uh, I can drop the creature eggs, right? Right mouse button to switch container. No? Oh, use the planter. Now no, it doesn't work. I need animals in there. Okay, so maybe I can drop them. Ah, oh, that's it. I dropped them in here. There you go. Oh, you bet it is. It is possible. Okay, so does it actually connect or is it going to be two separate things? That's the question I want to know. If it does connect up and it's the same, then I'm going to be one happy man. Can I move? If I, okay, if I climb down, I'm going to destroy the hash and I'm going to move it up there because I don't want to. This is just going to be in my way over here because this is a place I'm going to often have to walk. So we're going to place the hatch. Uh, on this side here instead. So we'll get the hatch and we'll place it right here. And then we'll see if it's one big thing if we jump in. It is, it's one big thing. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's so cool. So how much bigger can it become? I want myself another hatch. Uh, like right here. I want to be able to get in from the top end as well. So we can swim all the way down. Look at this! This is so cool! We've got this entire level just full. Look, and there's lots of things are growing here as well, which is awesome. But look, we've got this giant aquarium going into the entire bit length of my tower. That's amazing. Okay, I'm, I know I'm probably being a giant nerd, but I love this so much. And I'll just get my fucking shitload of mushrooms in there. There you go. Work it, Beryl. Work it. My power is working. Now, another thing that I was wondering, and I'm not sure if I should be because it's ridiculous, but I was wondering this. Could it be? Could I possibly? I can't go like this. That's fucking annoying. I wish we could. Uh, if I can get, make an eye compartment, I could go like this. Could I? Quite possibly. Okay, I'm just gonna test this out for a bit. I need more glass, do I? Am I running out? Of, am I run, have I run out of glass again? Oh, it's because the window's in my way. Should probably delete it that first, shouldn't I? Yeah, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Okay. Could I? <laughs> could I make a giant puff? That leads to the aurora. Like go straight, then go around the corner, and then go to the back. I I'm gonna test it out at some point, okay? Because I want to know. For now, uh, oh, that's not good. I'm gonna have to go all the way up there. Ah, uh, look at the aquarium in the middle. It's so nice. It's so cool. And destroy you. There you go. Come on. That was a joke. I mean, I'm serious though. Just imagine if that will work. Imagine if we can make a job. We can make it one one more level. Uh, can I do that? Can I make another? Uh, multi-purpose room, I need some more titanium for that. And make another one on top of here, right? And then make a path in the sky over there that goes over the, to the aurora. If it works, okay, it's genius. It's gonna require a lot of fucking glass. But if it works, it's genius. I wanna test it out, no matter what. I wanna test that out. But if we do, we'll do that in the next episode. We did so much today, and it feels amazing. Our sea moth is now able to go to 900 meters, and it's blue. Not to forget that it's fucking blue. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. And then I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.